But if you want to keep your wife, make sure you go and say that. <laughs> here welcome back to my channel and if you are new here a special special welcome to you i know this is a different video for my channel but i see a lot of people are separating their vlog channels from like their main channels and i really didn't want to do that i've been getting really great responses from the previous videos that i've uploaded on um just things that i've bought or reviews that i've done on things um i've only done like three reviews i think on this channel but they've done really well so as i am assuming you guys love a little bit of a review so yeah i'm gonna give you guys one so watch this video right now and click the subscribe button thank you so i decided to do an engagement ring experience for you guys and just tell you about what i went through and also just um a little bit of an explanation to the whole story as well for the people who are taking 2019 with stride and finally asking that big question but before I start this video, I just wanted to tell you guys that an engagement ring is just a symbol of your love for each other. So don't be too serious about it. You can't afford something that you want at that time. Just take the option that you have now and come back to it in five years time. I feel like when you are growing as a couple, things happen, things change so quickly. Um, don't be too stuck in the moment when it comes to your ring. It is just a material thing the one thing that really truly matters is the experience you share on the day and how special you guys make it together so when it comes to my engagement story it's a little bit um crazy i didn't know about it okay it was a huge surprise to me and a great surprise i love surprises okay so um sheldon decided that he wanted to engage me he went ring shopping with his mom and they weren't finding any um, styles that I liked in the price point that they, you know, had set up because um, first and foremost, budget is the most important thing. And he met this jeweler and they got together, bought the raw materials and he designed and then made the actual ring that I had before. But this is the ring I'm going to show you right now on the screen that I had. I have, as you can see, um, he didn't really put too much effort into the craftsmanship when it went to like how the ring was going to look from the side and you know just the middle setting of the ring like the main diamond should always look the biggest and it's so deep set that it almost you know fades into the entire ring but that's why i decided to ask Sheldon for a new ring so before we get to that i had a picture okay i gave sheldon a picture it was a cartier ring that i showed him so i was being so silly one day i ripped out this piece of paper in business studies um i think this was yeah grade 11. And, um i gave it to him and he kept it for so long he kept it until 2017 when he gave it to the jeweler unfortunately we didn't get it back of course as you can see it didn't come up the way we hoped for but we still enjoy our engagement and our engagement holiday because we did go to cape town which is like Sheldon's favorite favorite place so um yeah we, we found it so special and amazing and i only really asked him about the ring like two months after so we i was really sensitive to the fact that obviously the ring was super expensive and it meant a lot for Sheldon to give me a really beautiful ring. We did some research. It was like about six months in total of us like we're doing research and going to different stores. We just went to different brands, obviously, and we came across this really great brand by the name of Browns. And that is kind of where we wanted to go and see and compare the two rings together. Huge difference in the craftsmanship. That, and we just noticed the difference in the color of the um, metals and the color of the stones. So um, I was looking at the 1934 style ring. And then um, there was this prong style ring. I don't remember it, but it's a part of their Protea collection. So it's basically a prong ring that is held that holds one diamond and then the rest is just obviously a plain a silver or gold band but I think their band is maybe white gold or platinum. After we looked at those two options we decided to just wait a little bit and do some saving because um, Sheldon was actually not too sure if he wanted to sell my previous ring for sentimental reasons. That's why we had to save up for this ring that we got. So I wanted to do an unboxing of this ring, but of course for mo the most information on the ring, definitely go in store. It comes with this beautiful browns bear and it's so cute. Of course it is named browns with the K instructions at the back. 
and I did keep my receipt for this. I keep it all in one place along with the diamond certificate because it's always good to keep it if you need to resell the ring. And it comes in this beautiful champagne box which you then find this lizard like skin material box and of course the ring is inside it's got a beautiful um, copper detailing in it i think it's actually uh, rose gold and yeah that is the ring Browns as a brand is um, an engagement ring brand. It's very popular for the engagement rings here in South Africa. There's also a lot of stores that do really well here, like Tanzanite, if you are um, interested in that stone. I find it absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we just have American Swiss and a whole bunch. There's this one store called Arthur and Clupe, I don't know, but I will get the sticker right up here. I went to big brands like Browns but not for um, any reasons, but quality, their return policies, their buyback. Also have really great uh, service and a lot of knowledge into you know the diamond industry. Sizing was also really amazing with them. They took almost two days to see what size I was because they noticed that my hand size kind of changed. Sometimes I'd go in there when it was a bit colder and my hands would, you know, obviously fit the ring a little bit better. And then when I came in a little bit warmer, it would be a bit too tight. So that's how I actually found my perfect size that fits throughout the entire year and I never have to worry about it. You will never go wrong with buying a commercial luxury brand in South Africa because of the resale price and they buy back from you. And of course the quality that you're gonna get, you know what you're gonna get. And you know that you always have have somebody to go to you know if there's a website you know you can hold someone accountable if something goes wrong which we didn't have that luxury with the previous ring unfortunately we didn't check if they had a website it was a very quick thing because um, Cape Town was coming up very soon so we wanted the ring to get made before we left so um, obviously I didn't know about it Sheldon did it I, I don't know why I say we like I was there I wasn't there my top tips were definitely um, looking at your budget and making sure that your full frontal uh, thought when you're going into buying a ring. Don't change your mind, just go in with that number set in your mind. Obviously things will happen like the diamond price does go up and down so you'll find sometimes that you 2,000 rand off of the budget or 2,000 rand over the budget so it is dependent on what the price is at that time. Definitely pay with cash, half cash and half credit, that's always a good idea. Don't be stuck in debt for years and years and years over this little thing on the finger. Um, definitely get insurance. Do your research. I know there's the four C's and um, look for great deals. If you can spend the least money possible doing anything, I find that to be very cool. Just make sure that you are getting the style that you want. I find that buying quality is always better than buying quantity as well. Also maintaining your expectations and being honest. It's always good to practice honesty, especially in the beginning of your relationship. Okay guys, thank you so, so much for watching this week's video on my engagement ring experience and um, what the, I've learned and the lessons I've learned from it. And I hope that it helps you guys. I hope you found it super, super duper helpful. It's 2019 and of course, Valentine's is coming up, so this video is in the perfect timing for you to get that ring going or for you to get that ring planning going. I don't know if you're going to quite make that 14th of February mark, but you will definitely get closer to it with this video and all the tips that I gave you. And remember, if you like this video, please like it and give a comment down below so I know to do more videos like this. I know I have a lot of um, young couples following me and a lot of young people following me. So I know this definitely might relate to you at some point. And if you haven't already, remember to press that subscribe button down below and the notification bell for my future uploads. Definitely doing a once a week video. So you'll be seeing me once a week this 2019. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next. Bye.